follow me closely. Wait, what? They just came out of the ground. You can't do that. It'll be fine, dude. We can just slaughter them. <laughs> What's going on? Why is he getting ambushed by the Monokumas? I don't know either. Livy, why is he getting ambushed by the Monokumas? Because he's a demon now? Oh, shit. Is OBS happier now after the restart? It seems very, it seems to be good now. Oh my god, I hate the auto aim. Oh shit. I ran out of ammo. Alright, we're good. Hey! 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 What an asshole! He lied. Or he was wrong. Hey. You weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. Then they must have found out you betrayed them. B betrayal? Me? Pretty much. N no. That's wrong. I'm no traitor. I am the leader of the Warriors of Hope. I care about making paradise more than anybody. The reason I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. It appears you're Good luck convincing Monica that of that. Uh, I'm sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such high expectations. Yeah, keep on saying that, Mr. Genius Grade Schooler. <laughs> What was he? Social, little ultimate Let's social go. studies. Bodies I forget everywhere. which one he was. I'm getting sick of this. But I think that's right. The secret passageway is this way. Uh oh. I'm a warrior of hope. I'm your master. Boom. Oh, wait. There's one down here, too. Oh, what game you downloading, dude? Paralyze. Dude, Paralyze is good on these guys. Look at this.
<clears throat> Come on, dudes. Boom, look at this multi kill, baby. Swagged on him. Run. They got destroyed, bro. Holy crap. <clears throat> well, I'm going the opposite way. Because there's probably shinies. There's a shiny. I was right. Come to me, my precious. The conductor is 48 hours. Or Ororiko Anaka, famous as the genius conductor, is regarded by the world as perfect, talented, extraordinary, and beautiful. However, she has a secret that she keeps from them all. The pinnacle of lyrical sexual prose. A fluttering melody of suffering and sadism. Okay. This novel seems pretty intense. Interesting? So vulgar. Even with the s and bits, it's beneath me. It's probably just some sloppily written wish fulfillment fanfiction garbage. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's not going that bad. No, it's definitely going to be that bad. I can feel the lack of talent from here. Any book with a title this bad has to be just as bad on the inside. Um, well, if the ultimate writing prodigy says it, I'm sure it's true. Uh, a tasty subject like s and boiled down to this crap, a true masochist like me would do better. How did this even get published? They must really be getting desperate to push this out. Which reminds me. Hey, as a true masochist, have you ever had that kind of experience? What, like being tied up or suspended? Th there's no way I'd do such indecent things. Hmm? But then how do you know you're a masochist if you've never done that stuff before? Isn't that like someone saying they love cigarettes but they've never smoked? <laughs> you underestimate my imagination. Every spare moment I'm being stepped on, tied up, suspended by my master in my head. <laughs> you sound pretty proud about that. But that reminds me, one time I was really tied up and suspended. Could it be? Huh? By Byakuya? No. No, I don't even remember his name now. It was when I was in third grade. Uh-oh. That's potentially illegal. Someone's lunch money got stolen and it somehow ended up in my desk. My classmates thought I did it, so they tied me to the jungle gym with a garden hose. So cool. That's horrible. You're right. At the time, I felt a tingling sensation, but I'm sure that's not related. Huh? No, that definitely sounds like a formative experience. Well, there you go, kids. Steal some lunch money. Well, be blamed for stealing some lunch money when you're nine years old, and uh, you're going to end up hey, like Toko. Where are you going? The secret passageway is this way. So wow. he says. Let's go back. Fine. I'm out of paralyzed now. This way. Hey, look, a shortcut. You're seriously trusting a guy like that? I'm sure he's planning to betray you. Oh, hush. Do you think so? Ammo. Dancing and knockback. Ammo I don't need. Wait, where are we going? Oh, it doesn't say. It just has this here. Ta -da! <laughs> Woo! Don't come near me. Oh, oh. Oh my god, the carnage! I got all of them. Oh, shit.
Dude, it makes me sad that these guys don't drop. I had, like, money. Shit, I hate the auto aim. It never picks the one I want. Uh oh. Wow, he juked it. Spirit bomb. This doesn't even kill him though. It's so dramatic and they don't even die. Oops, well, strong button, but I guess it works. Shoot. Bloodlust. Oh no, run away! Get out of here, kids. <coughs> Can I go this way or is he gonna bitch at me again? Nagi said doesn't understand the joys of hunting for little shiny spots. Stupid kids. Hey, where are you going? Fine. So Fine. Guess we'll have to come back here later. Let's go. Look at the mountain the of bodies. This way. No. Oh, wait, I just hit the vending machine. You can't cutscene again. Oh. So cruel. Dude, that's a whole this lot of bodies. I won't look. But even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. You really don't feel anything seeing this? These people are demons. Our enemies. That's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're afraid of adults? Yeah, that's right. We can't help but be terrified around adults. Spooky, adults scary. Didn't exist, Post pubescent. Peacefully. That's what I believe. Why are you so afraid of adults? We warriors of hope are classmates in the Hope's Peak Elementary program. We were in the Small classroom class. where they put all the troublemakers. But I resented being called a troublemaker. It makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble. But that's not right. Our troubles were created by adults, by our parents. They say kids can't pick their parents. Well, we were the unluckiest ones of all. My parents were, without exaggeration, the worst, like demons. My parents raised me like they were oh like God. some game. They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. From morning till night, study, study, study. When I got sleepy, analeptics. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in my arm. Three to four days straight. And if I showed even the slightest resistance, they'd use items to neuter my spirit. And by doing so, as long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. My father was a teacher at our school. He was a researcher of children's talent. He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. Sheesh, man. He wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if he pushed a child to the breaking point. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. It's not funny at all. But even with all that, I was still better off than the others. Right. 
You saw Monica's legs, right? That was done to her by her family. Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. That's horrible. Because we had talent. Because we were superior. We were treated like we were in hell. But during it all, we didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated. So now we got physical abuse, gaslighting, sexual abuse, and I guess he's kind of physical and emotional abuse. If they're shitting him full of I I IVs. Because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. We trusted the common knowledge. We're getting that the combo kids must packs now. Parents. So instead, we bonded over our struggle. And those discussions led us to the same conclusion. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. We were desperate to run away from our scary parents, scary adults, the whole scary world. And we thought there was only one way out. But that's when it happened. There was someone who taught us to have courage, to fight back instead of running Don't away. Don't kill yourselves. Just kill a bunch of other people that instead. Big Sis Junko. Big Sis Junko told us how. If you don't want it, give it to me. She wanted the thing we were going to dispose of. Our lives. And so, Big Sis Junko abducted us. <laughs> they look so comfy, dude. Look at them. Our disappearance didn't make Aww. much news. This was around the time the incident was growing. Ever since then... Snuggles. The nap time. So fun. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. She gave us not They're only so love, cozy. but a dream On their well. way to become serial killers. The dream of creating a children's paradise. Where the children can live peacefully. We also learned from Big Sis Junko, the beliefs required to build that dream. The belief that adults are demons. It was as if we saw the light. Now I Thanks see the her, light. We finally realized. The common knowledge we had known up until then were lies adults created for their own benefit. Children cannot defy their parents. Everyone must get along. Violence can never bring peace. To destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. As far as I remember, the first adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to, and we were encouraged. Dude, look at those shears. Or whatever. From there, They're pretty gnarly. We leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Big Sis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair-inducing. True. It's just insane. Just as I expected. You guys were just tools to her. She was using you. The way she took you in, it's no different than a cult. You bring in the weak people and attach them to your own dream. The revolution you're talking about? It's all just another piece of despair to her. You guys were completely deceived by Junko and Ashima. And what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? We would rather her take advantage of us than horrible adults. Sounds like it's too late. Say what you like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth. And because of that hope, we were able to defeat the demon boss. Demon boss? Boss? Our parents. You killed your parents? And they sound that like pretty shitty folks. That that can only be TBH. Once. That made us level up even further. From there, Operation Children's Paradise began. And we started freeing other children. By doing so, the advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable. But just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died. Yes, she did. Some idiot. When she died, and we lost our guide, that rhymes. We didn't know what to do, but Monica didn't despair. All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Mrs. Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. At that moment, sparkles. Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. Things that didn't matter vanished. And we felt ourselves rising up again. Come to think of it, that moment 
That was the real beginning of the revolution. And this time around, I swore an oath. We, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. We would leave lies like education and love for family in the past and create paradise. That is our hope. You guys, you really don't understand that you're doing something very wrong. Justice and evil. These are beliefs that adults have defined, are they not? First off, pure evil simply does not exist. In he says, while well, standing in front of a good. mound of corpses. And in the same way, <clears throat> justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice either. <laughs> Are we really going to stand around waxing philosophical with some little brat? I want to know why you guys chose Toa City. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokumas? The one who chose the city and prepared our Monokumas was Monica. Isn't she amazing? She created what? them with her special magic. That's not how that works. Magic? Don't take any of this seriously. It's just some kid talking. Basically, Monica's the mastermind. And to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Monica is our princess. And we'll never allow that. H hey! Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone? I think it's wrong. <laughs> After all this time, still saying something so naive. It seems as though we really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. So let's go already. The secret passageway is right up ahead. Okay. No, I shot this before the cutscene, and then the whatever it gave despawned. Feels bad. I wanted that ammo or whatever it would have been. More cutscenes. Walk ten feet. We're here. It's at the shrine. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Uh, of course. I have to save Master Byakuya. Right. Hey. What do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. You can't leave. The game's Toko, not over. Do you want me to stay? Yes. You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me, you're truly amazing, Toko. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. Involved? What do you mean? Feels Nothing. bad. Just leave before he changes his mind. Don't leave. Toko needs you. Shiny. Children know this town better than I thought. I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that I'd never be found. But as if they knew where I was hiding from the beginning, a Monokuma came and attacked me. I was just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart limb from limb. They cut off her skin and flesh was everywhere. But I just ran away. I'm done for. There's no place to hide. No place to run in this city. Um. Feels bad. It's true that your parents were cruel to you, but that doesn't mean you can kill all the adults. <laughs> Again with that nonsense after all this. We're well aware we're killing innocents. But This is war. When you're burning the enemy's country to the ground, do you stop to spare the good people? 
Even if we had years, we would never achieve our dream with that benevolence. But, demon. Consider it fate. We were born and raised here. We were treated as if we weren't even human. Wouldn't it be a cruel twist of fate if we didn't fight back? Um, but for you to just do to them what they've done to you? Don't mess with me. Perhaps you think we should have stayed subhuman, just accepted it. No. No, not like that. Hey. Then you tell me, what should we have done? What was the right thing to do? What should we have done to earn the privilege of a normal, happy childhood? Don't mess with me! Oh, stop being such a drama queen. You could have relied on the police, on the government. Don't mess with me! You're asking those who've had their lives destroyed by adults to trust other adults. <sighs> Ever since we five were born in Toa City, our destiny was decided. No one can stop us. With all the children in this town, we will build an ideal paradise. With all the children in this town? You're taking... You're talking about all those brats in the helmets? Of course. It's not just us, but also the Monokuma kids. All the children. It's far too suspicious. Funny that all the kids in this town just happen to have murderous intentions like you. <laughs> Perhaps I've said too much. I have nothing else to say to you. You cannot stop us now. Pretty bold for a shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't care how unfortunate your childhoods were. Killing humans will never be okay. I didn't expect a demon to understand. Fight. Ooh, vending machine. Give me the goodies. Batteries and health that I can't take. That's not the kind of goodies I needed. Wang. Dude, look at all these stairs. This way. Hoofing it. Let's go.